Also out here at the BMW booth at the Chicago Auto Show is the all new BMW i4. This is the electric, I guess, three series, four series, you might want to consider this. This is the sedan version in some ways of the BMW iX, the crossover. We have a very similar sort of kidney grill here, but not quite the same sort of design theme. This one has a little bit more of a 3D mission there. Lots of arrow going on here and BMW headlights that look a little bit more like the passenger car lineup. So if you're looking for a new BMW EV that's perhaps a little bit more traditional, you might want to take a look at the i4. If you want bleeding edge BMW style, that's going to be the iX. Probably the most controversial design aspect of the i4 is the lack of a front trunk. There are a few little ports that open here, but that's just for servicing the vehicle. There's nothing under this M portion right there. All that is reserved for motors, electronic systems, the cooling systems, etc. But you can see that this has the same sort of long hood profile that a lot of BMW shoppers want in their next sedan. So visually, this looks an awful lot like the 3 Series and again, the 4 Series. I'm saying both 3 Series and 4 Series because obviously this is a four door vehicle, but like the 4 Series, this has a bit more of a sportback or coupe like roof and of course, frameless windows right there on the doors all the way around. But if we curve all the way around to the back of the vehicle, you'll notice that even though this looks like a sedan, it is in fact a liftback. So in terms of cargo practicality, this is going to be above a 3 Series, very similar to the 4. Right here under the floor, we find even more storage area. There's also a pretty big subwoofer there. The Harman Kardon subwoofer for that audio system is located under the floor. I4 styling is very similar to the 4 Series with the same sort of swoops going on in these full LED tail lamp modules, aero treatments all the way around, and a very classic look. At the moment, the i4 is going to come with two different drivetrains. There's going to be a single rear electric motor producing 335 horsepower or a dual motor setup. That's the one that this model is right here, producing 536 horsepower. That's going to be the fastest way to get your i4 zero to 60. There's only going to be one battery pack under the body. It's just under 81 kilowatt hours. According to BMW, range will come in at 300 miles if you choose the rear wheel drive version, which means that fuel efficiency is going to be quite high in the i4. This battery pack is not as large as the battery pack that we find in mainstream vehicles, even though we have pretty wide tires on this particular model. 245 with tires up front in this i4. 300 miles of range in the rear wheel drive version, dropping down to 245 if you choose the all wheel drive version. Another interesting touch, staggered tires, 255s in the back, 245s up front in this particular model. Unlike the BMW iX, the interior of the i4 is quite BMW traditional, from the styling of the seats to the styling of the door panels and the ambient lighting strips. This looks very much like the 3 Series and the 4 Series. Moving over to the dashboard, this model has carbon fiber trim there. The one big exception to the styling is this large dual screen setup in the dashboard that looks very Mercedes-like. And this is also running the latest version of BMW's iDrive, just like the iX. As with the iX, the infotainment screen here is a little bit larger than the full LCD instrument cluster. And the LCD instrument cluster seems to be a little bit more fully featured than the instrument clusters that we find in other BMW models. The steering wheel is quite traditional. It's a round design, sport grips up top, three spokes right there, just as you'd expect, and all the typical BMW controls on the face of the steering wheel. Most of the dashboard is very similar to the 3 Series and 4 Series. Two big air vents there, some touch controls in that region. We then have a wireless charging mat, cup holders where you'd expect them to be. Typical BMW joystick shifter here, blue start stop button, because why not? Touch pad for the iDrive controller. It also toggles and hops and bops around. But you'll notice no flat load floor, so we still have a tunnel right there. This platform is very similar to the one that we find in the 3 Series. We then have a moderately sized storage area here, so this is not as optimized for the EV drivetrain as some. The new BMW i4 is going to start just over $55,000 before destination and, of course, will qualify for the full $7,500 tax credit. This is going to be notably less expensive than the new BMW iX and just certainly a little bit more traditional. It's obvious as you look around the i4 that this is based very heavily on the 3 Series and the 4 Series. So some of the ICE platform inefficiencies still exist in this vehicle. The lack of under hood storage space is, I think, actually a little bit interesting because this hood is very long and theoretically there could be room under there for a storage area. BMW simply chose not to give us one. In many modern EVs, I don't really care that they don't have a front trunk or they do have a front trunk, but in a converted vehicle like this, where clearly we have a lot of room up there, I'm a little bit disappointed that we don't have one here. But the interior is very, very well done and the price tag is just about right. There are very few options in this segment exactly right now. Companies that are trying to give us a very sedan shaped vehicle 
and this is going to be one of the better options. And at $55,000, a fairly well-priced option as well. This is gonna compete very directly with the Polestar 2, but the Polestar 2 is a little bit smaller on the inside. It's based on a subcompact vehicle. This is based on a larger segment vehicle, so it's gonna be roomier on the inside. You will definitely notice that, especially in the back seat. We have that large practical cargo area there in the rear. This is gonna be on sale very shortly, so if you want one, be sure and check out your BMW dealer. Tell them that you want one. You're probably gonna have a very long waiting list, I suspect, for this model right here. In case you're wondering, charging, that happens right back there in the rear, very much like we find in a regular BMW or the BMW iX. Be sure and let me know what you think about the i4 down there in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and check out all the related videos from the Chicago Auto Show. I'll see all of you later.